Good morning everyone, Lynn Foster, Independent Usborne Consultant here, and I wanted to share with you today um, how our learning palette works. This is the Usborne Learning Palette. I know it's got a glare from the window coming in on it. Um, it is a big round disc with a cover over the top, and you unscrew the cover. This learning palette is great for classroom use as a center because it's self-correcting. You can use it in your home school. You could use it with your children anyway just to um, practice a particular skill. And we have all sorts of packages of cards that go with it. This one's reading comprehension, uh, blends and diagraphs. We have math cards. So this one's money and simple fractions in addition. And each package comes with 12 cards. It will have 144 challenges on it, and it is self-correcting, as I mentioned. This card, for example, is from the pack that is called Beginning Vocabulary. Let me show you what one of the cards looks like up close. Uh, this one, the children are having to read and to decipher and comprehend and figure out which clue matches the picture. So we have a red hen or a big bug or one cookie or a sad man, okay? And we're going to use this card as an example. You take the card and you place it on the learning palette. And we take all these out because you have to start out with a clear board. So you would remove all your little discs. Okay. Place your card. And my card is warped. I'm sorry. The last person who played with it bent them up a little bit. Okay. So for example, at the top, I'm looking for a purple cow. And I know that the disc that goes with Purple Cow is a solid purple. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to find the solid purple. I'm going to find the Purple Cow and I'm going to stick it in there. The next one is Yellow Bee. And it has a solid yellow disc. And so I'm going to go over here to my stack and I'm going to look and I'm going to find solid yellow. I'm going to put it where I think it goes. Uh, green Frog needs a green disc. And this one's a really simple one because it is a beginner vocabulary. So it's not too hard. Now I'm going to I'm going to see sad man. Um, that one actually calls for a what I call a broken yellow. It has the hole in the middle. But I'm going to mess this one up on purpose. And I think he looks pretty sad because he's freezing. So I'm going to give him an orange one which is not what it says to do. Okay? Now I'm going to finish these up really quickly so you can see what happens. Wet dog where is that wet dog? He gets a broken red disc. Oh, a cold boy. A cold boy. See, I did mess that one up, actually. Um, a cold boy should be the open blue. But instead, I'm going to put it on sad man. Okay? And I'm doing that for a reason. I want you to see when you self-check how they work. Now, I'm not going to finish this one out because I want to flip it over and show you how the children can self-check. So they simply lift up the card, flip it over and place it back down. It's got two little prongs. You can make sure that it's lined up right. Now, here's how you self-check. You go up to the top and you match your color. Solid purple to solid purple. Solid yellow to solid yellow. Uh-oh. I should have a broken blue here. That means I did not pick the correct answer. Okay? And so we have a broken red because it has the hole in the middle, so that's what I call broken. And you would let the child go on around the board and self-check. Uh-oh, there's another mistake. That was sad man, and I gave him the wrong color. So anyway, these are really, really good little cards. They have lots of different skills on them. For example, in this one, the children would have to work on the upper half of the card first and then the lower half. And how they know that is there's a dividing line that goes all the way through. So if there's a dividing line, it wants you to focus on either the top or the bottom at one time. This one has choices. They have to read the sentence, the cake is crying or the cake is good. Okay? And they have to decipher which sentence would be real and not real. The cake is crying. Is that a real sentence? Of course not. So you would give not real the broken red. The cake is good. Is that real or not real? You would give real the broken the blue. And so that's how that one works. And we have all sorts of um, cards that go with these sets. And these are wonderful for uh, early learners, uh, early childhood education. So they make great little um, self-checking learning centers. And when you're done, you put all your discs back on the holder and you teach the children to put the discs up in a, inside the holder and you snap this back in place 
and then this can be moved around and the discs can't fall out. So it, it's even portable. You can take it in the car if you buy this for yourself. And this is the Learning Palette from Usborne. It is available at my website at www.k, as in kangaroo, 4217.myubam.com. Thanks again.